What's going on guys? It's Austin. Uh, I'm back here with another video today. Um, I got something a little different for you today. Um, I haven't been doing much hunting lately, so I figured I would do a video on my hunting rig for 2019, the Hoyt Helix. Um, I have nothing but praises for this bow. This, the, the only thing I've had with it is cables have stretched a little bit, but that's normal for every bow. That's not just the Helix. Um, this bow is incredible. I'm shooting the 70 pound model at 28 and a half inches and I'm shooting a 450 grain arrow at 280 feet a second. It is blazing fast for the IBO speeds of this bow. It, it is amazing. I love this thing. The draw cycle is so smooth for 70 pounds. I thought about ordering an 80 pound limb kit just because of how smooth this bow is. Um, I'm running some pretty good top grade accessories. I really went out all out this year on my hunting setup. I didn't really play around this year. Um, I'm getting pretty serious about this. So, um, For the sight I'm running this year, I'm running the Excel AccuTouch Carbon Pro. It's a single pin with a .19 fiber. This thing, I used to shoot a three pin slider and I'd seen a bunch of videos on this and I was like, you know what, I'll try the single pin. And best decision I've made. This this Excel AccuTouch is the most solid sight that I've ever used. It's just super robust and super, it, it's heavy, but it's that type of heavy that makes you feel like this is a quality sight. It It is awesome. Best, probably best sight hands down on the market. It is, I recommend anybody to go to your archery shop and just shoot the Excel and just try it because it is well worth the money that I paid for it. For my rest, I'm running a Hamsky Hunter Hybrid Pro Micro Tune Edition. Again, th this rest is amazing. The micro tune ability is super awesome, and it's a uh, it's a limb driven rest. So the string from your from your rest attaches to your your down limb or your top limb. You can attach it either way. And what happens as is as you compress your bow, the rest raises up. And then as you let your bow down, it falls back down. It's not really any more um, consistent or efficient than a cable driven rest, but I'll tell you what, I can tell a huge difference between this and the old QAD that I used to shoot. It, it was also well worth the money that I paid for it on this setup. Um, in terms of stabilization, I wanted to run Shrewd, the Raid Series bars, but I seen these bars in my uh, archery shop yesterday and I was like you know what I'll try them out on the bow and I shot them and I was like wow these things are epic they are the fuse torch series bars which I'm also running a 10 degree dis, uh, downward angle because crispy does it and if crispy does it you should do it but these stabilizers are awesome they're carbon fiber which makes them super lightweight, which also helps with your stabilization, putting weight up in the front. It doesn't add weight to your bow. Um, I'm also running the seven inch back bar and the 10 inch front bar. And I'll tell you what, these things have made a game, these have been a game changer too. I used to shoot just a little dinky stabilizer and it didn't do anything for my bow. But after I added these stabilizers to my bow, I mean, my groups have noticeably gotten better with inside of my hunting distances with 50 and under. They've gotten noticeably better. Um, this bow is just, it's amazing. Anybody who hasn't shot a Hoyt Helix needs to go shoot a Hoyt Helix. They're, they're incredible. And I'm not saying it's the best bow on the market, but it's up there. It's pretty dang good. In which I'm not sponsored by Hoyt at all to say that. That is just my opinion totally. I've shot pretty much every bow brand out there and just... Every time I just go back to Hoyt, they just, they make some really quality products that are super awesome. But that's enough talking, let's get into the shooting. Before we get into the shooting, there was a couple things I forgot to mention because I just am a very forgetful person. Um, so my arrow setup this year, this is the same arrow setup I've run for the last, I think three years. It's a Easton Axis five millimeter. It's not the match grade series because they're way too expensive and the 0.2 straightness is just as good as 0.1 straightness in my opinion. But I'm running 50 grains of brass up front of my hunting arrow. 
So my total arrow weight with veins and knocks, which I were, I originally was running nocturnals, but I just I was having some accuracy issues with them. But that was just me personally, but so I switched back just to my regular X knocks. But total arrow weight on these arrows is 450 grains, and I'm shooting 280 feet a second with a 70 pound bow at 28 and a half inch draw. So these things are death darts. Which for my broadheads, I don't have them here on me because I was shooting my field points into my target, but the broadheads I'm running this year are the Rage No Collars. Um, I'll put a picture of them up on the screen here. Um, they are super, super awesome broadheads. I shot the hypodermics for the last couple years. Killed my really nice 10 pointer with um, Rage Hypodermics last year. So, big fan of Rages. I know some people hate them, some people love them. It's just your experiences personally, but, but the No Collars, in my personal opinion, are probably one of the best broadheads on the market. Um, mechanical broadhead wise they are super awesome I also forgot to mention the release that I'm running this year it is the Scott Exus super awesome thumb activator release if anybody's ever shot a thumb button do yourself a favor and go to your archery shop and shoot a thumb button because it will change the way that you shoot now let's get to the shooting that one low. <laughs> That's a good group down there for six arrows. I dropped one low, but the rest are probably within two inches. I dropped these two here at the bottom, but that's a pretty solid group for 40 yards and having not shot my bow in about a week, so. I think it's time to step it back to at least 90. Went too far. 97. Ninety-five. It's close enough. Not exactly my best showing at 95. I think I had a couple of my arrows, the heavier ones that went a little low in the target in the ground. I think I had one arrow go over and one below the target, but... Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to do something a little different and um, shoot my bow and show you guys the, my uh, new hunting setup for the 2019 season. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's a super awesome setup and I'm going to leave links down in the, bot in the description to all of the things that I showed off in the video, including my arrows, my rest, my sight, my quiver, uh, my bow even. I'll leave links to all of that down in the description below. 
Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys do like, subscribe, and comment on my videos. Um, and if you want to get notified, hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe and you'll know every time that I upload a video. You'll definitely want to do that because I've got some exciting stuff in the works. And i got a lot of people I'm going to want to be bringing on the channel and doing some hunts with. So hopefully you guys stay tuned and thank you guys for viewing the video. I really appreciate it. Have a good one.